Hi SciChart users, um, we're going to show you today how to convert your applications which are using the old annotations API into the new annotation binding API uh, provided in SciChart version 5. The example that we're going to convert is the trademarkers example. This example is shipped with the SciChart WPF example suite and it shows a line chart with a number of buy and sell markers positioned over the chart and what are news bullets at the bottom. Each of the, the buy and sell markers is positioned using the annotations API and has a tooltip showing some trade data. First up, in order to convert this, what we're going to do is go to the trade overlay example view. We are currently binding to a collection of annotations in the view model, but we're going to change this to, to use the annotations binding markup extension. This markup extension allows us to bind to a collection of view models. So we now need to go into our trade overlay example view model and change the type. going to comment out this second section which adds the news bullets and focus on the first for now. In the original example we are creating a buy marker annotation and a sell marker annotation and we're adding them to a collection of uh, annotations and then binding that directly to the view. This is not true MVVM because we're creating view types in the view model. So what we're going to do instead is to, to declare a view model for each of these types and we're going to create these classes up here. The first thing that any class needs when it inherits from base annotation view model is it needs to know the view type to instantiate in the MVVM API. So we're going to return the type of by marker annotation. Similarly, for the cell marker annotation view model, we're going to return the type of cell marker annotation. The base annotation view model has all kinds of properties on it, such as is hidden x-axis ID, y-axis ID, etc., etc., x1, y1, those sort of properties. We're inheriting from this, so we don't have to declare these new types of properties, but we do have to declare a property for the trade data for the tooltip. Now that we've declared our view models, we should be able to instantiate them here, but we need to cast to a common type. In fact, I'm going to create an interface here called I buy sell annotation view model. And this, inf this interface is going to have the trade data on it. There we go. So we've now made our solution compile by creating the buy marker annotation view model uh, or the sell marker annotation view model. Uh, and we're adding it to our collection of I annotation view models and we're setting the trade data on, um, on this view model as a property. 
we now need to update our view so that the actual markers um, are binding to the correct properties. In the example, we have got a uh, by marker annotation, which is like so. All we need to do is add property here, x1, and we bind to x1 on the by marker annotation view model. Do the same for y1. The tooltip originally bound to a data context where all this information is, con is uh, contained in the trade data. So instead, all we're going to do is set the data context equals to the binding of uh, trade data, which is a property on buy annotation view model and sell annotation view model. We do exactly the same for the cell marker. Let's go ahead and run this app and see if our changes have had any effect. And there we have it. The buy and sell markers have now been overlaid onto the chart using the new annotations binding API and the tooltip is still present. You'll notice that the news bullets at the bottom of the chart um, are no longer shown, so we will have to add those in as well. To do that, we go back to the trade overlay example view model, and we now need to create a view model type for the news bullet. type of this news event finally properties that we're using in the news bullet annotation include uh, news data x1 y1 and coordinate mode so we're going to have to bind to these in the view coordinate mode and x1 and y1 are properties on the base annotation view model. Let's go ahead and run the app and see what happens now. And there we have it. The news bullets have now been added to the Trademarkers app and the tooltip is back in place. You can see in the source code that we are now using the new annotations binding and in the view model, we are only declaring uh, annotation view models as opposed to the view types. So that's a quick introduction, how to convert from the annotations API through to the new annotations binding API. If you have any questions about this or need further support, please visit uh, support.sidechart.com and feel free to ask a question.